Hey folks, how you going? Just a quick uh, tutorial about the Phantom 3 battery firmware upgrade. Now you may have purchased a second battery for your DJI Phantom, whether it's the advanced standard or the pro. It's the same deal with them all. I picked up this uh, second battery recently. Uh, genuine DJI, obviously. Put them into the unit, fired it up, which I'll do for you now. Connect away to your DGI Go app. So what actually happens is you may have upgraded your firmware with an existing battery in there and everything's fine. However, you buy a new battery and put it in. The device is going to recognize the fact that you have a different battery in there and you are required to upgrade the You are required to upgrade the um, firmware for the device. Now, this now says overall status latest firmware. However, a short time ago it didn't. So, what it's going to say up there is firmware upgrade required CDJI tutorial. So, what you need to do to fix the problem instead of updating everything and all that hoo-ha, which is a pain in the butt. If you can update your firmware, the easiest, simplest way to do it, go to your Phantom website, scroll down to, um, sorry, scroll up to your support area. So, as I was saying before, you go to your support on the DJI website, go down to product support, find your quadcopter down here, so in this case it's the Phantom Professional. Okay, so what you will need to do is click on Downloads and the firmware will appear on the top left here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but anyway, it's on the top left. Look for the current version, 29.11.2016. Hit the zip, download the zip file and it will appear on your computer as a .bin file. So what you then need to do, power this drone off now. And we'll turn that off. What you then need to do, power down the drone, go to your micro SD card, pull them out, make sure it's empty, no video on it, anything like that. Stick in, in an adapter, put it in your PC, dump the bin file directly onto your micro SD card. Grab your micro SD card, put them back in the micro SD slot, make sure it's up the right way. Just fits in the side here, can't miss it. No drama. So then what you'll do is turn your drone back on again. This time when you turn it on, do not turn on your remote. Just let it sit there for a period of time. And now we'll flick to the video where it's making some beepy noises. Go. Let's be flicking to the video.
welcome back now that you've seen the other video of the noises it makes that's it actually updating the firmware on the device once you restart your quad power back up your remote don't have your remote remote running while you're powering it on for the first time okay so power it on and what you're going to get is a screen look at your aircraft battery make sure everything's okay there no worries and it'll say overall status latest firmware so it's now recognized the new battery with the new firmware is now hooked up with your quadcopter and it will no longer give you that error of saying you've got some battery dramas if you go down here to aircraft battery 98 percent everything looks good this battery I've got in here is the new one I've just done, so if we go to the um, battery menu it should say it's been charged one time, yes it does, it's charged times charge just down here, it says the 1, which is correct, I've only had it 1 30% for low battery, which is a good spot to sit, especially if you're a few metres away from you, like I was today and everyone's happy so there you have it folks simple fix Turn them off. simple fix for your uh, quadcopter if you buy a second battery and you get an error on your DJI Go app saying latest firmware needs to be upgraded easy fixed no worries any questions drop us a line drop us a tick drop us a thumbs up Whatever you like. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye for now.